This is actually my first time in Europe. We got ourselves the um, Petit Déjeuner Extra, which is like the, the extra breakfast. this bridge, the Dabili footbridge, because it has the best vista of the Eiffel Tower. Yesterday ended with the Eiffel Tower and today it started again with the Eiffel Tower. We are right now at Trocadero Plaza enjoying sunrise with the Eiffel Tower in view and this is such a beautiful spot for sunrise photos. It's actually not that crowded. You come early and there are tons of pigeons to deal with but honestly they make for such beautiful photos. From Trocadero, now we are at Sacrique, which essentially is just a Catholic basilica. Now, there are a lot of stairs, steps, and pathways, and hopefully we can get to the very top there and catch a view over the city of Paris. Let's go. where you can get a panoramic view of Paris. It doesn't open until 10.30 on Mondays. So we came to Cidon de Montmartre, which has a really high rating on Google, for our breakfast, and it looks so beautiful. I've been walking around all day and our feet are absolutely on fire yeah. but it is still great to go and check out different viewpoints of the city and we just finished up at Notre Dame and this is definitely one of my favorite spots this is where I used to come as a kid a lot and this cathedral as some of you know did burn down two years ago they're right now doing some restorations and we're not able to go inside but it's still a lovely place to check out Yes, it is. There are information pamphlets sort of all around the outside of the cathedral, so you can definitely read up on the history. But if you are short on time, missing this place is perfectly okay. along the Seine as we're still on the city island or Ile de la Cité where Notre Dame is and we're checking out Pont Neuf and Pont des Arts and these are two really famous bridges with beautiful scenes and it's such a romantic and charming area but very very busy. Go. 
Good evening, everybody. Uh, we're just heading to grab some dinner because we were just back at the hotel resting a little bit. Lauren took a solid one and a half hour nap right. while I sort of stayed awake and uh, did a little bit of work. So she is all energized. I'm a little bit sleep deprived, but that's okay because we are hoping to catch another epic sunset. Hopefully this one is as good as the one from last night. But first, let's go grab some food. decided to show up so we are wearing our raincoats but we decided to go to the Louvre in the morning and get some really nice shots the clouds looked marvelous and um, we definitely got some reflection shots over there and make sure that when you go to the Louvre you come to the Royal Palace it's only about five minutes walk and check out this free courtyard it's open around 8 a.m. in the morning every single day Heading up the royal palace, we came to another palace. So we're actually in Versailles right now, and we're going to be hitting up the Chateau de Versailles. And because we're super hungry, we didn't, we didn't get breakfast yet. We decided to come to this little place right across from, us, um, from the Versailles station, and they actually have baguettes, um, really good ones actually, and they're affordable, a lot more affordable than in Paris. All right, we just made it to the Palace of Versailles. It takes about an hour from Paris by train, and it is 100% worth it because the architecture, everything here looks amazing. One thing we did forget to do was to buy tickets beforehand. So when you guys get here, either buy it online before, or as you're walking towards the palace, head to your left, grab your tickets, and then head into the castle. We finished up in the courtyard taking some beautiful photos and now we're going to see what the palace looks like on the inside. Latin district on the east side of Paris and we are starting off our exploration in the garden. This is one of the gardens they have in Paris. It's free, open till 8 p.m. and this one is Jardin des Plantes and then we're going to be hitting up the Pantheon which is a very iconic landmark in the city. Last night we met up with my friend Maïdis who took us to this wonderful place. It's called La Felicita on the east side of Paris. It's an Italian market where you can order pizza, pasta, anything. And we decided to go with the Neapolitan pizza, which was delicious. We had a couple of drinks and this morning is our last breakfast in Paris. It's been a brief yet amazing time here. We enjoyed our first time in Europe together and we are super excited and we hope that you'll stick around for our next leg of our European trip, Iceland. Mm -hmm. 